everybody, Diane, Resellers by the Pond here. I have a few things going out today I wanted to show you. So over here we have a book I picked up. I believe I paid about 50 cents for it at a yard sale, going out for $10. We also have this cute little copper oil cane going out. That went for $7.50. And then I have a lot of four wrestling figures going out today. Those, I accepted offers on all four because he was buying a lot. We combined shipping. Those are going out for $46. And that's it for today. We do have a haul, so stay tuned. Hi guys, back with the haul. Here we go. So, first, we have this really nice, I believe, Indiana glass turquoise basket. I'm going to put that down because you really shouldn't hold them by the handles. Let's try that again. There we go. So, it's got some scuffing. I'm going to try to clean up, but I did get that half off. Goodwill was asking $13, which was way too much, but for $6.50, I liked it. Uh, so I think that'll probably be, depending on how well I can get the, the little scuffs out, uh, probably between $30 and $40. So next I got this cute little trivet. So it's a souvenir piece. Usually those kind of things I get in the neighborhood of $12 to $15. Uh, and I paid $1 because it was half off. Next, I have this little candle holder that will probably go in the antique booth, I would think, maybe around Christmas time. So that was $2. It is brass and copper. It's a little angel candle holder. And that does say made in Mexico on the bottom. So that was kind of neat. We're going to try to get some of the corrosion. I don't, yeah, you can see, needs a little cleanup. Next, we got this vintage Care Bears mug. Those appear to sell for around $15 to $20. I paid two, so that guy was very cute. Couldn't leave him behind. Next, we got this divided relish tray. When I usually see these, the gold is in really rough condition, but you know what? The gold on this was really pretty good. There's a few little scratches, but not bad. Uh, that'll probably be around $15 to $20 in my booth maybe around thanksgiving time that sort of thing um next we have this little opalescent i believe it's a bonbon dish uh, and i also believe it's fenton so i paid up a little bit on that it was five dollars but i do think that i can mark that around twenty dollars or so in my booth perhaps a little bit less if i do uh okay long as I don't break it. So next were some of my favorites. So I got some Cinderella bowls. That's that one. And then that guy there, they need a little bit of cleaning up, but that is a 443. And I believe the 444, I believe is the bigger one. <laughs> see if I can remind myself. Yes, the 444. So as I said, it's got some scuffing, but I believe I can get that all cleaned up and looking nice. So I did just acquire another booth and it's actually going to be a glass case booth. Um, so as long as I can get those cleaned up and looking great, I think that they will go in that. I also got some of the Colonial Mist mixing bowls. So I got the white one and the blue one. So those are a 402 and I think the 403. I have to remind myself. Yes. So 402 and 403 on those. And my Goodwill is super expensive on Pyrex, guys. They are normally $15 a bowl, no matter what it is, no matter how damaged it is. Even like the little tiny primary bowls, dishwasher damaged beyond belief are $15. Uh, so today, because obviously most of it doesn't sell, they had them all half off. So I was able to get these for $15 for the set and same for these. So these were $15 for the set as well. So those were both good deals. I was willing to do that. So I think we stand to make a pretty good profit on those. I'll throw some comps up there exactly. 
Then I found this vintage t-shirt. It's not quite an all over print, but it is a large print. And I thought that that was really neat. So it is double stitch, not single stitch, but it's like the fruit of the loom cotton. It's a size medium. So that'll be going up on eBay. Then the last thing that I got was this, I believe it's Lifeite. I don't know how you say that exactly. I'm assuming it's German. Uh, anyway, it is like a bulk cherry pitter. Uh, they had it for $5 at the Goodwill. They do appear to sell for about 25 to 30. And I believe that that is probably because it is right around cherry season and people are making pies and cobblers and what have you. I don't know if that is always the case in terms of sales for those, but we're gonna get it listed quick so that we can get that sold quick. And that's it guys, thanks. See you next time.